Hi everyone, stick around until the end of the video as we really like to share some of that love with you guys, the viewers. But our journey would not end there. We went back to Andersley, we replenished our energy, stacked up on alcohol, and we went back to face my employer. Arellas Fireleaf. The High Wizard of the Scarlet Crusade. Berean Westwind, the High Commander, lost in Northrend. Dorgar Stoenbro, the Lord of the Red Caverns. You stand in the Hall of Champions, Herald. Did you learn anything from our past? Herod? Herod? Her- What the fuck are you doing? I- I can't do this, Gartha. I got too much heat on me. Fucking told white men that my pants are really strong. And she fucking spilled the beans to the entire order, man. Now all the fucking Azeroth wants me pants. Fucking no. Why do I even pay you idiots for? Listen, Herod. Take this weapon. Don't move from here. You wait for them, and then you'll kill them all. Whoa! Ravager! Cheers, bud! Cheer- What? I swear to God, Herod. One of these days, I'll fuck you up. There are actually some pretty interesting bits of lore located in the Hall of Champions in Scarlet Monastery. These guys have been through a lot of shit and yet they still keep going with their crusade. But you know what? You ain't here for that. You just want to see what happened after we came back from Undercity. Well then, here we go. We absolutely smashed through the armory, which by the way, fun fact, is the only dungeon in WoW Classic that only has one boss. Yep, Herod himself is such a unit that he has his own dungeon instance. Yes, he's also the only dungeon boss that has an insane amount of heat on his head due to the crazy ass items that drop for warriors in particular. Nothing but trash mobs all the way to the Hall of Champions, where we met the Machine himself, the Terminator, the Spin Lord 5000, Herod, the Scarlet Champion. We started the battle and prayed for Ravager to drop, immediately realizing that his spin game was on point. Literally 10 out of 10, congratulations. His Dance Dance Revolution score must be insane. After a few spins he got very very angry and really started chugging away at our tank. Regardless, there was only one way this would end, and that's with Herod being dead on the ground. Oh, you fucker! No! Gaffa even gave me Ravager! How can this be? Alright buddy, time for you to join the fallen champion in the graveyard. Don't worry, I'll make sure to hunt you down every now and then for some good gear. And... cut. With Herod out of the picture, there was only one thing left to do. Confront Mograine and White Mane directly in the Scarlet Cathedral. The first group pussied out, so we had to find a new party to kick their ass with. I would never accept not having that kick-ass weapon in my arsenal. Well, you see, the Scarlet Cathedral is considered to be the posh neighborhood of the dungeon. These people are du creme de la creme. It's an extremely stark contrast between the cathedral and the graveyard area. The first has shiny weapons and polished staffs, whilst the latter has, well, uh, uh, zombies. So why would I mention to Morgrain that I wanted full access to the graveyard? That's still to be explained in the later video, but don't worry, just know that it needs to happen for a rogue. It's very useful. Time is money, friend. 
<laughs> it's me again! I've jumped in in the midsection of the video just to tell you that this time it's my beautiful face on camera. Now, tell me, now that you've seen me, what do you think of the type of content that we create? If you have an opinion and you would like to express it, please leave it downstairs in the comments section. Now, if you do want to see any other types of content, please do also leave it in the comments section below, as I'm really interested to find out what type of shit do you like. The world of Warcraft is literally our oyster, so we can do all sorts of wacky shit together. So I'll tell you what, I'll leave you watch this video and then you comment down below on what you think is right. Let's get back to the video. What a beautiful day. By the light I am blessed. Commander Morgan, we're under attack! What? A group of dudes just entered the cathedral ground, Commander. They're killing everything, my lord. Oh no. Ah uh, no, I'm cool. Sir, what are your orders? Okay, listen. I want you to gather the most loyal Scarlet Crusade members and make them stay in the cathedral. Then I want you all to pretend like nothing ever happened. Uh, uh, sir, shouldn't we throw everything we have at them? It's done. Those of you who have the will to do this, follow me. The rest of you, get out of my sight. Yeah, yeah, I used Arthas' line reference. I thought it would be fitting considering it's the Scarlet Crusade, so fucking sue me, okay? In any case, we stormed the grounds, slicing and dicing conscripts along the way. It was a massacre. Opened the door to the cathedral and upon seeing them pray to the light, we were filled with the warm embrace of the need to absolutely butcher every single one of them. So that's exactly what we did. Well, you see, these guys really like Mograine, so if you try anything fishy from the start, then everyone inside the cathedral will try to fuck you up. And that's not particularly good for business. Once we cleaned the cathedral and its side rooms, we had a short tussle with Morgrain, and he went for a nap. But alas, he knew the rules. He was hiding his healer, so she came in to save him. Now, Whitemane had an ace up her sleeve, a bullshit fool party stun, and a battle rest to seal the deal. We did not like cheats, so she had to die first, shortly followed by Morgrain. And that's it, there you have it. Scarlet Monastery has been conquered. What a glorious adventure. Next time you're going to get a sneak peek at Keltuzad's younger brother, and we're gonna rock it down classic style. I also want to personally thank Scott Pierce, Daoud Khalil, Pais Matris Gatos, Jason Babo, Evil C. Chester, Jonas Bezubovas, Terencenko Vasile, Bianca Nitsu, Brish or Briss, and frankly Veno for subscribing to the channel. You guys are absolutely amazing. Every week we are getting more and more people following us and our content and your support is incredible. Thank you very much from the bottom of my heart for watching these videos. We're looking forward in taking the channel to the next level, obviously, and you, dear viewer, are helping every single step of the way. So see you all next time. Thank you.